Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this pick a card is moon themed. So think about, you can watch this during any phase of the moon, okay? <laughs> it's timeless, uh, but think about what you might want to learn and to know, have your question ready. So what I'm gonna have you do here, we've got a pink, it's actually like just like a plastic bubble thing <laughs> but we're gonna call them moons today all right so choose between group one pink group two blue and group three clear so just tune in there and we are going to be using the moonology oracle cards so take a moment Okay, group one, if you chose the pink bubble slash moon, <laughs> here are your cards. So the first card out we have here is a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in cancer. You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in cancer. Look at that, a lot of water energy, holy cow. A new start is coming, new moon. Love how this story is playing out here. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. New, new, new. And we've got some water and some earth going on here. And we're going to treat this fifth card as if it's the overall energy of the entire reading here. Okay. And that card for you is meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces. So there is definitely something that you are healing from. And it doesn't feel like you've just gone through it on your own. This feels like it says you and your loved ones are safe. So you might have gone through it with your family. And even if you say, no, 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 I'm 100% alone. It was just me. You have some family energy, some community energy. And uh, that has influenced, I feel like it's influenced what has occurred, whatever that might be for you. But the overall message here, let's get our bubble a part of this, right? <laughs> uh, the overall message here is that when you are meditating, you're going through the motions and the steps of clearing, opening your heart. And this is even, for some of you, this is psychic attack. This is psychic attack. This might be a time for a lot of you where, <laughs> you know, if you have uh, a certain Mars in retrograde transit, right, you might like be revealing hidden enemies and all that kind of thing. So that's for a small portion of you here, but really look at what's happening. You're, you're having a new start. So let's, let's break this down. So for a portion of you, there's been this huge, I wanna use the word betrayal. And it could have been a family betrayal or there could have been information that you learned about your family that seemed like a betrayal. Like, why did you keep this from us for so long? How dare you? This sort of thing, all right? But then by meditating and coming to terms with your emotions, coming to terms with what has happened, following your instincts, water energy is incredibly intuitive, okay? So you might even understand a, a bigger picture than you realize, okay? And so now you have the chance by working with your own energy, meditating, all that good stuff to come on through. So as it says here, a personal issue reaches resolution. So this is something that has been stressing you out for a while. Again, it feels like there's been a betrayal for a portion of you. So I don't know if this is like a coworker talking behind your back, working against you. If you're out there on the internet, if you're in social media, I mean, there could be some downright evil people that are just trying to drag you down, right? So whatever that is, you're able to clear it away. You have the power to do that, okay? So for some of you too, this is, because we have prosperity lies ahead. So this is coming through a difficult financial situation. Some of you lost your jobs. I mean, that's an easy one to pick up on. Many people lost their jobs, but uh, a new start is coming. For those of you who have, if you've chosen this pile and you have lost a job or you've chosen this pile and you're like, but I hate my job. <laughs> I just don't feel like it fits me anymore. 
Um, whatever the uh, scenario or status of your job is, it is teaching you that you no longer, sorry, I live in Colorado Springs. People have dogs and they bark incessantly. Anyway, <laughs> there's no working around it. Um, but no matter what the surface level story is, both are having a, a similar effect for you, which is discovering, I don't want to put my energy into this anymore. I don't want to go down this road anymore. Okay. Uh, and some of you be careful with this because you're going to overthink it. You're going to use the mind and you're going to go push it in a certain de uh, direction and it's the wrong direction because you're coming from the intellect. This is about the heart. This is about the heart. Now, again, if you and your loved ones have been having some financial worries, you have some potential energy that you're coming into where you absolutely can find resolution. Okay, and it's, it's going to be a fresh start, but it's a fresh start because you're taking a fresh approach. So it can't be this sort of thing of like, oh, someone just came and saved me. No, 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 no. This is teaching you something and it's asking you to choose something different. Okay, now I do want to pull some cabochons. You can hear them. You can hear them coming a mile away. <laughs> so we'll grab these for this particular reading. Okay, so we have inner voice, spirit guides, frequency, and resistance. All right, so you see those okay? So, okay, so what's helping you right now would be you listening to the inner voice, which the spirit guides are working through. Yes, it's changing your frequency, but look at what, oh my gosh, you have amazing things going on here, and then... There's like, yeah, but I don't know, maybe uh, all this doubt and you could end up getting in your own way. Okay. Self-sabotaging. How? Well, you start to doubt that things could be good and, you know, you mess with your own frequency and then what? <laughs> right? And then what? Indeed. So if you can just be aware of that. Catch yourself, if you find yourself starting to go, nah, -uh, couldn't be, not me, what have you, I feel like I want to pull, I wasn't going to pull the other cabochons, but I think I want to for this because I need more information about what you're having resistance over. You know, don't get in your own way here. Okay. Get some clarification on that. You're lowering your frequency because you're doubting. That's that. But what else? Okay. All right. So we have, there's the design <laughs> in case you care. So we have Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, truth. Oh, you're resisting the truth. Okay. Frequencies, frequency goes with codes. And I'm wearing, these are the things that you're resisting right here, right here. Yeah, you're just constantly working towards a surface level solution. No, 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 just tell me it's going to be okay. Just tell me that I'm going to get that promotion. Just tell me I'm going to get that love partner. Just tell me I'm going to get that house. Just tell me I'm going to win the lawsuit. You know, you're just working from that standpoint. And you have this beautiful energy to work with. And then there's this little itty bit, because look at it in perspective here, okay? These are all really <laughs> phenomenal messages here. And I just happened, I didn't even think about it, but I happened to put a, uh, Archangel Gabriel under inner voice. So you might be, some of you working with Archangel Gabriel, Spirit Guides, Archangel Raphael. So the whole idea here is that you have help and it's helping to change your frequency. And I think what it is, is you guys start to get really uncomfortable with that change. Because when you start changing your frequency, you might have body aches. You might start having things coming up to the surface that you really have to face. You know, it's kind of a thing, <laughs> right? So you're resisting the truth. You're resisting what got you here in the first place, what your belief systems are about yourself, about your prosperity, about what you're capable of in this world. Just don't be uh, kind of, you know, bobbing around on the surface. 
There's something far deeper and more soul level going on here for you. And that is reinventing yourself. So you have, again, you have all the support here to make that happen. But will you choose it? That's going to be the thing. <laughs> okay. 100% out the door. That is going to be the thing. So what are you going to allow into your life? Are you going to allow a new beginning? I hear people say all the time, yeah, 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 I'm allowing a new beginning. But as soon as that new beginning doesn't look the way they expect, they give up. And that is completely understandable. Who doesn't do that at some point, right? Because <laughs> we get fed up. We're working with these brains, right? And we get fed up on whatever. We have plenty of things to, to choose from. But, you know, we, we end up giving up on ourselves. And this is about you getting into and maintaining a good flow. And do not let this get in the way and mess everything up. Does that make sense? All right. So these are just quick little readings. We're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group two. If you chose the blue moon, then here are your cards. Okay, first up we have is confidence is your key to success, new moon in Leo. You're good enough, full moon in Virgo. See this, <laughs> this story already, you guys. Oh man, okay, so we'll get into it here. You're very close to achieving your goal, gibbous moon. Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. So there's an overcorrection of some sort happening here. And then we're going to treat the fifth card like an overall energy for the spread, okay? You and your loved ones are safe, new moon in Cancer. This feels like this, this card is the motivating factor. Group one got that as well. So something has come and just knocked you down. And the lesson behind this is if you're solid within yourself, no matter what life throws at you, no matter what happens outside of you, you always have you. You can always anchor within you. But there's a situation that had a lot of control over you. Now, this situation for some of you was um, something that someone said to you and you took it as truth because you see this person as being better than you, as knowing more than you. Okay, because they brainwash everybody to think that. <laughs> and it's easy because, you know, especially if you're an emotional person, if you have, <laughs> if you have feelings, right, um, somebody really can come in and latch on to that and take advantage. So there's a situation that came, it does feel like it was quite shocking, kind of out of the blue, but you're okay. You're going to be okay. You and your loved ones are safe. And don't let whatever has occurred shake your confidence. So I know we, we, are, we could sit here for every single category and say someone lost their job and we would be correct. Someone had a breakup. Yeah, pretty likely, you know, I mean, especially now, especially with everything that's going on or someone lost their house or, you know, something along those lines. And the reason why I say that, that it's a loss because it took a toll on your self-esteem. I didn't do enough. I could have saved this or that, or I could have saved this person, or I could have. And the whole thing is, is that, and the message to pass along to you is that everything landed the way it needed to. So if that doesn't look the way that you had hoped for, it's the way it needed to be. So I just heard released and freedom, released and freedom. Okay, so they're coming back to, for some of you, whatever this was that got taken away from you, it feels like maybe like being betrayed, okay? There's a lot of energy of betrayal coming up around readings recently. It's very interesting. Um, but I think that's more like the mask is coming off. Wait, did that just come up for group one? I don't remember. Um, <laughs> I already don't remember. There you go. Uh, but yeah, it, the, what it is, is that people who are conniving, they feel the heat. And so the masks are coming off, like every, they're being exposed and they're trying to fight because they're being exposed. So it's kind of a thing across the board. 
but you allowed too much of your self-definition be wrapped up in whatever got taken away from you. And that is what you're to learn, okay? You are good enough. Let me give you an example. So let's say somebody did lose their job and your whole life was your work and you thought you were going to, you know, raise up, rise up in the ranks of this company or whatever and then you get passed over for a promotion and the boss is like, eh, toughen up. That's just how it is. I mean, that is devastating, especially when that's, that's what you thought your path was. Maybe that's what you thought your purpose was. And then find out you're not as appreciated as you thought. Or if there were layoffs, you know, maybe you thought you were one of the indispensable people. And maybe you were one of the first to go. And what did that do to you? You know, what you didn't want it. So we got to watch this. All right. Confidence is key to your success. But look at what happens over here. Don't let pride get in your way. So there was some ego wounding here. It took your confidence. Now you're having to build yourself back up. But then that third card in this row here says you're very close to achieving your goal. You're very close to achieving your goal, but it's not the surface level goal. It's your heart and soul <laughs> purpose and understanding. And you and your loved ones are safe. You'll be okay. Whatever your circumstances that when you're watching this, I'm giving examples about jobs, but that underlying energy could apply to anything. Are you sitting there having gotten dumped, so to speak, by someone? Well, what makes them so great? <laughs> Why are you hanging on to that? <laughs> One thing you need to learn is that there's plenty of fish in the sea. Let me say that again. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Okay. I know you're all attached. You got to go through that decompressing and detaching kind of phase. But listen, you'll be fine. I promise you. I promise you. All right. Let's get some of these cabochons. And for group one, I ended up pulling some of the other cabochons as well. So we'll do that here for you too. Ugh. Whoa, is that right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you got a yes. Well, first you got emotions. Yeah. See? Something, something, uh, like I said, something shook you. Something shook you. Turning. Now, normally this would mean a turning point, but I feel like this is more like someone turned on you. Uh, hmm. This is intuition. Okay, hang on. Look at this. Intuition, instincts. Here's, here's what's going on. You thought you were reaching a pinnacle. You thought you were like, some of you might have thought you were going to get married. Or you almost had that house, but it fell through, right? Or something that you've wanted. You know, again, there's all these scenarios coming up. Someone thought they were pregnant and then found out it was not true. Okay, they weren't pregnant. So they're, say yes to your instincts and your intuition about things. And I didn't even mean to, but it just sort of landed underneath to you're very close to achieving your goal. So this is how you achieve your goal is by listening to your instincts and your intuition. And, you know, obviously you got to heal. Man, I, someone turning against you right before you reached your goal. Someone turning against you right before you reached your goal. And this is kind of landing under these cards. So it has this feeling of, well, who can you trust? Who can you trust? Or for a lot of you out there who chose this group, I see what life can do to me. And I don't know that I want to invest too much more in hoping or um, keep investing my positivity in that when it feels like it can just turn at any at any given moment. But if you follow your instincts, you will get to your goal, but that don't let pride get in your way. There's a scenario that's coming up. This could be like the people who, like let's say if you got laid off, for example, or you have Mercury retrograde coming up. Uh, when is that? Like in a month or so, something like that. Uh, so this could be a turnabout. So turning turns into a turnabout 
Now it does say don't let pride get in your way. So I guess on the surface that would mean like, hey, consider it. But more importantly, <laughs> listen to your intuition and your instincts. If it doesn't feel right, don't give it another shot. Don't give it another shot. Or if you can renegotiate something, okay? There's that. Let's get some more info here. I want to get all the possibilities out for the cabochons. <laughs> all right. Oh, we got quite a few. All right. Harmony, speak. And these are all Archangels. Metatron, all about intuition. Uriel, strength and wisdom. Raphael, healing from whatever, <laughs> whatever went down here. Gabriel, being creative, finding solutions. This is also about pregnancy. Sandalfin, being grounded. These two are brothers, okay? Being grounded and centered and being in harmony. Gabriel also helps you speak your truth. Ugh. Don't get hung up on the ego pursuits, guys. Okay, whatever went away had to go away. I'm hung up on that don't let pride get in your way because it almost seems like some of you are prideful about no I'm a singer and that's it Sanofin helps with music by the way no I'm a singer I've always wanted to be a pop star and I won't ever give up on it well <laughs> backtracking or letting a dream go for the sake of your sanity sometimes is you know I don't know, like some, sometimes people are just so resistant to that because they don't want to have to admit that they went down, they went after the wrong goal. So they hang on to it to try to make it work. There are other potentials here and other possibilities. You just need to give yourself a chance to have them come to you, okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye. Hello, group three. If you chose the clear, it's actually a plastic bubble, but we're calling it a moon, okay? <laughs> if you chose that, here are your cards. Okay, so first out, we have, you're very close to achieving your goal, Gibbous Moon. Another group got that too. Uh, have faith in your dreams, a waxing crescent moon. The end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon in Capricorn. Nothing is yet set, excuse me, nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. And then I have been treating the fifth card like an overall message for the entire thing here. So that card is don't let your past hold you back, south node. And that is like past life kind of stuff too. So that's like family karma, you know, past life karma, you name it. So there's a definition, a way of seeing yourself that you're still hanging on to that doesn't still apply. <laughs> it doesn't still apply. But look at this story down here. You're very close to achieving your goal. Have faith in your dreams. So don't give up. There's a there's an idea here of don't give up. And I know times have been very, very tough for everybody right now. Even though this is a timeless reading, I happen to be recording this in 2020. It has been an incredible year, <laughs> right? But it just means that your your dreams need a little tweaking. And that tweaking is going to come by you admitting some truth to yourself about what you're really willing to do for your goals. Okay, so let's say you're a mom. And uh, I felt someone say, nope. Okay, not everything is going to pertain to every single person. Many people chose group three, so we will feel out many different scenarios here but this is the one we're starting with let's say that you are a mother and you've always had a dream of being an interior designer okay and you want to go to school for it but you're just 
you know, you looked into the schooling, it's going to cost a lot of money. It would be like one of those things of taking, uh, oh, it's either your kids go to go, get to go to college or you get to go to college, right? And you just go, you know what? I just, my kids are young. I don't want to spend the money. I'm going to have to find a different way. I'm just not willing to take that approach and make that kind of sacrifice to take away from my children. Okay. So that's like one example of what we're talking about here. Um, but please know that with just a little bit of reevaluating, you can still figure out a way to be someone's apprentice. You could still figure out a way to learn, <laughs> right? So balancing all of that, yes? And then it says the end of a tough cycle approaches and then nothing is yet set in stone. So that last card there in the row, that really does make me feel like wait for the changes, Wait for seeing how the world is going to shift and change before you keep trying to make plans because, you know, you never know uh, what might go away. What might actually not even be viable for you anymore. Okay, nothing is yet set in stone. So this is also something meant, I think, to free you a little bit. So you can release control, right? So there's this feeling here of like, you know, something's gone down here. Uh, I don't know if I want to do this. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. All this doubt coming in. You're still defining yourself by the old way, right? That's that card that's in the overall position there. Uh, And you're, you're starting to make some progress. You're starting to grow and open and make different choices. And you might start to get a false sense of security. And then the world changes again. Now, if you think that everything is set in stone, you sit back, you kick up your feet, you grab a snack, you watch some Netflix, and you're like, life is good. And then it's like, oh, wait, I have to start over at another job or <laughs> oh, I have to redo this. I have to whatever. You know, this is saying just be very, very flexible because not there, nothing, nothing, <laughs> the word is nothing is yet set in stone because of a shifting world. And it's not just circumstances that are shifting, it's our mindset, all right? I don't know what the world is gonna turn into and I could be very wrong about this, but that base instinct I have about where we're headed, again, I don't know what exactly what exactly it's gonna look like, but I could see industries like advertising going going down Uh, marketing anybody who's like a car salesman anything that has something to do with some measure of manipulation I'm sorry if you're in advertising I'm not trying to be offensive (laughs) I'm just saying that if we look at it just think of all those ads (laughs) right for a YouTube video right like I've got the greatest solution to your life and here it is and blah 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 that's so very like salesman-y and like showy and it's a mask and there is a measure of manipulation you're basically popping on with high energy to tell people like my life is better than yours yes it is this is absolutely a tactic look at how happy I am like how great I am and this is how I got there or flaunting material things you see this big house behind me I could teach you how to that sort of thing. I think we're going to, you know, the more and more we connect into our hearts, and this is what I'm encouraging you to do as well, the more and more we connect into our hearts, the less and less we're going to even take that seriously. It starts to become a joke, essentially. And we start to get into this place of, if I need it, I'll buy it. Or if I want to know about it, I'll ask you. <laughs> right? I don't need the constant social media ads all up in my face, right? So, that's what I'm talking about, about a changing world and, and being flexible. So if you are somebody who's watching, you're like, oh, no, I'm in marketing. What are you talking about? Well, you'll either eventually, it'll probably take years, but eventually you're going to have to either find a more authentic approach to it, which is doing advertising, doing sales by leveling with people, with empathy for their situation. Now there's cooperation. Now, now one person is not trying to get the other person. Have you ever seen a salesperson not get what they want? I, re- I was just thinking about this the other day. My parents, they were car shopping. This one, I was a little kid. And they just weren't ready to buy yet. They wanted to explore some different models and things like that. And they test drove this one car. And there was this 
mental, okay? There's no other explanation for this, okay? Mental car salesman who was like, come on, you want to buy it today? You want to buy it today? I'm on doing his whole thing. And my parents were like, no, this is like the first car that we test drove. Oh my God. Well, I thought there were intelligent people in this world. I guess I was wrong. And he storms away. It's mental. And my parents are just standing there like, seriously? <laughs> what just happened? All right? Like, and, and people can say, oh, that's not everybody. <laughs> then you haven't been paying attention. Okay. <laughs> that still happens to this day. I had a, you know, we're talking about cars. There's a certain car dealership in Finley, Ohio, where the guy is like, you know, like he used to be in the military or something like that. And he was so pushy that he was angering me. <laughs> and I had to leave. I was not going to get a car from him because I was just like, you know, you're driving me nuts. So it's that kind of thing that I think is going to start going away. Now, what does that mean? If you're sitting here listening to this, you're like, what are you even talking about? I'm not even in sales. Well, how about we don't take things so literally, number one, okay? And two, no matter what you're doing, even right now, the approach is to get out there and market yourself and to get out there and tell everybody how great you are and give people what they want. That's how you are successful. It's not always ethical, but it can give you success. I've mentioned many a time, that I know, I don't know them personally, but I have seen some YouTubers, really spiritual YouTubers, doing unethical things and nobody cares. And they have millions of subscribers. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like that's the kind of thing that we gravitate towards because we somehow get programmed to think that they're doing it right. So whatever is coming up for you, just know that the game is changing. It will, if we do it right, it will get to a heart-centered place. And that's how you're going to have to be flexible, okay? Because like, like I said, if you go through and you learn everything and then the rules change, it's a little disheartening, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. All right. So let me get the cabochons. Oops. Did I bump the camera? I am sitting right next to it. You know, stuff happens. All right. So get some more for you here. Okay, so prosperity here is you're heading towards that. But you got to get through some resistance. This is resistance to other people because I think you do realize what I just, you know, gave that long explanation about to really drive the point home. I think you get it. You get it. And so you're resisting already kind of preemptively <laughs> some of the typical games and um, approaches that people take. You don't want to have anything to do with that. Yeah, here you are. Empathy, instincts. Hmm. So I just wanted to feel this out a little bit. So <laughs> it's almost like eventually you'll hop there if you listen to your instincts. But there is this little thing right there that's kind of like, no, you must do it this way or we're going to pull everything. We're going to destroy you. Pay attention. Look around. That's basically what people are doing. If you don't follow our rules, if you don't say what I want you to, if I just decide I don't like you, I'm going to destroy you. It's the age of insanity. Utterly and completely. Okay. I've got the little cabochons here. Here we go. Okay, so you have Archangel Uriel. All about that wisdom and strength and power through grace and speaking your truth being grounded hmm. and it's like activating the codes the codes of wisdom okay the codes of wisdom but you know I, I almost don't know how to put this because first of all there's a lot of people that are watching this uh, and everyone's gonna have a different story but the whole idea here is that I wouldn't get hooked into any one idea about anything. And that's, I wish I could give you something a little more concrete here, but this is all you got to worry about. Well, don't worry about it at all, but just stay grounded, speak your truth, live in grace, work with Archangel Uriel to have your courage, okay? To feel, feel what is right. What is the right approach for you? Okay. You might say, no, I don't want to have a killer instinct. I want to have an empathetic instinct. So that when somebody comes in, stay with the car example. If I'm a car salesman and someone walks in 
and I know they need a car and I can tell just by being empathetic that they're in a tough spot, but they need a car. This would take the customer not playing any games too, <laughs> right? And you just cooperate with one another. And how beautiful would that be? And if you're laughing at that, that's how sad it is. Kindness is not seen as anything you should be working towards. And that needs to change. So you're going you're gonna to be all right. You're coming to the end of the cycle. Hang on to your dreams. They're coming to fruition. Just be ready to move and shake and surf with whatever is coming at you. That's it. The, the circumstances keep changing. Okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care. Bye-bye.